Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to take advantage of the Edmonton Boat Show and show you some boats uh, just because they're all set up. They're clean, they're ready to go. So we're going to start off with the Kingfisher 3025 GFX. This is basically the uh, small brother to the 3425 GFX. Uh, the main specs on this boat is that it does measure 30 feet long in total length. It's got a nine and a half foot beam. It's got a seven foot, uh, seven inch bottom. It's, uh, again, it's our offshore shore series. So uh, that's gonna give you a 160 for aluminum on the sides and quarter inch on the bottom. The uh, 3025 GFX versus the 3025 um, uh, Destination or Weekender package, there is a fairly substantial difference between those packages. So I think that's the most important thing to show everybody is even though they're both 30 foot boats, I'm gonna to try to really point out the differences between those two models. The GFX series uh, does come at a premium price, but there's many premium features and those are the ones that we will uh, focus on. Uh, right off the bat, the boat is deeper. I think it's uh, four inches deeper. And uh, as we move around the boat, uh, I will point out as well is that the trailer that's underneath here is a galvanized trailer. This isn't the trailer that's coming with this boat. Uh, it's going to get a uh, 13,000 pound aluminum I-beam trailer. So we're just behind with trailer. So we're using this trailer for the show and that'll be switched. I'll talk about some of the options on this boat as well. I, you probably noticed it's got a uh, drum winch on it. Uh, we've put a number of accessories on this boat. So you can see there's dual antennas. We've got uh, radar, we've got scan strut with our GPS up on the roof. This has got the extra cargo rails on the roof. This has also got the dual rub rail. This has got the high polished package. So it really stands out and looks good and gives you great protection along a dock. As we make our way to the stern of the boat, we have this equipped with uh, twin 250s. You can uh, put twin 300s on here. It's rated up to 600 horsepower. Always check our website for the latest uh, boathouse bulletins and all the data, all the specs. Uh, I don't believe that we have uh, our own boathouse bulletin on this boat with this uh, particular power package, but we will in the near future as soon as the ice comes off. There is room that you could put a kicker on the port side if you want to add that to this. This has got Dometic trim tabs. And other than that, you're basically looking at the uh, stern of the boat and uh, what a great platform to be able to get out there to net fish. It allows you that. So as we enter the stern, you've obviously got a walk through here where we enter this large fishing office, I'm going to call it. You can see that we've got this boat really well set up with uh, Burnwin, Scotty, Ace uh, Prawn and uh, Crab Polar, Magma Barbecue. So some options on this boat. Uh, we already talked about the extended uh, roof that comes on the GFX. We've got a side door on the port side here for easy access to the dock. One of the biggest key features on the GFX series that's only on the GFX series is going to be the sliding door. So this door locks into place. Pull down here, slides and locks. This is a very nice sturdy door on a great railing system that's never going to give you any grief. This has got an optional uh, uh, sonar display that you can mount up there, which is one of my favorite uh, options versus having it down here. Everybody back here on the cockpit can view it that way. And it's out of the sun there. It's just a great spot that everybody can view from. If you look at the auxiliary helm, this boat is equipped with uh, joystick steering. So that's uh, a, a very nice feature that a lot of people are familiar with. That's, we're not gonna talk about that on this video. We've got dual controls. We got the digital controls, both at the main helm and the auxiliary helm. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, cup holders there. We've got uh, an indicator here for the joystick controls. We've got uh, access to your fuel tank here for the uh, hydronic uh, heating and uh, heating system, both for uh, air and for water and more storage here. 
There's also a Fusion stereo mounted in this boat. So you got speaker here, you got a speaker back there. This here is access to the uh, heating system. Along with more cup holders, as you can see, Kingfisher does a really good job with their side storage. If you look at the shelves there, so this one is broken up a little bit because of the uh, port walkthrough door. But if you look on the starboard side, you got full length uh, storage trays there. There's two of them on each side, which is awesome. We've got both fresh and raw water washdowns. The fish tanks in here are humongous. You've got two of them, same size on both sides. And that fish locker actually goes right up to about here. So you got the same on both sides. As far as the uh, drainage on this boat, this is a big improvement as well in years gone by is that we've now got flush drainage. So if you look at this, the drain holes on here, there's no place for any of the debris to channel up. It just, it's off the floor, down the drains, and it keeps your deck nice and clean. We've got a, another fish tank here. This has got the live well option with it. Uh, the live well is there really, crab works awesome. You can throw many crab in here and they keep them alive as long as you want if you keep that pump running. There are little things that Kingfisher does with a lot of their boats now. If you look, there's a lip here. So if it is raining, you don't have water that's making its way and funneling, funneling into the uh, village. That's going to stay out on the deck, on the self-bailing deck. If you look at the uh, wiring and you look at the uh, workmanship here, this is a very, very clean rig. This has got the upgraded uh, uh, lithium house battery in it. So you're going to have plenty of power when you're offshore and you don't have access to shore power. We've got the rear transom rail on this boat as well. Again, with more Burnman mounts, rod holders, various rod holders. If you look at the cleats on this boat, very heavy duty. We've got ultra deck on the uh, gunnels on the side. So when you're leaning here, when you're reeling in, You've got your toe hold here on the bottom. You've got the ultra deck here to lean against. So when you're out in rough water fighting a big fish, this is a really nice platform to work off of. As we move into the cabin, here's another area where the GFX really shines. If you look at the quality, the workmanship of the wood, the materials that are used here, it's really of a high-end grade. This has got the privacy cur curtain package in it. So those curtains do cover all the windows, all the, all the entire interior. You've got storage on the shelves on both the starboard and port side. You can see we've got the additional lighting put there. We've got interior rod holders. That's an option here as well. Again, very nice, high quality material being used. As far as the table, this is an upgrade. This has got the folding table, so it becomes a very large table when it's down. When the table's folded up, you've still got your four, you got, you've got four cup holders and you've got a handrail here. So when you're underway standing up, you've got rails, bus rails above your head. You've got the table here to hang on to. Uh, the in-floor storage, humongous. And again, this is unique to the GFX series. Just to give you an idea, you know, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but I mean, I can totally hide in here without any difficulty. To give you an idea of the depth on the sides, there's my arm length, most of it, and that's the whole length there on both the starboard, starboard and the port side. Another thing that we've had some customers doing is, uh, if you look at the Camco coolers as an example, where you can use them as an additional fridge or freezer, you can fit actually two of those in here and have them wired. The inverter is down there. So you can actually keep uh, your freezer or additional fridge storage in the floor there if you choose to. Speaking of the fridge, the GFX comes with a three cubic foot uh, fridge is I believe the size of it. Uh, this has got the upgraded dockside package. So you get an AC DC fridge. It's just a very nice fridge. It's larger than your average fridge that you're going to see on your average boat. Here's all your switches for what you're working with here, your water, your fridge switch, etc. Sink is standard. Stove we leave as an option. 
Some people want a stove. There's different stove options. A lot of people are happy just using their barbecue on the aft deck, so that's why we leave that as an option. As far as sleeping accommodation, this table lays down to form a bed here, and uh, these cushions also pull out on uh, both sides. So this now becomes a double bed. And it's also additional seating when you're sitting around here, whether you're playing cards or eating, it just gives you additional space. So you can put two full-sized adults on each side. Uh, more storage. These are drawers that pull out, making it really easy access. Very high quality hinges again. And that's throughout. So just lots of storage. Sink accommodation, cleaning rags, etc. And the rest of this is just all drawers all the way down. As far as the head, this is a big feature on the GFX as well. So this is a shower and a washroom. Again, you got privacy curtains all the way around. There's an additional light in here. This has got the optional electric flush toilet in it. So there you've got yourself a shower that's gonna accommodate uh, just like you being at home. The front uh, seats, these are River Masters and they're on shockwave bases. This is optional on the passenger side. So we've got the passenger and the helm seat exactly the same, both on shockwaves, making for the best ride you're gonna get. As far as what we have but the helm, you've got room for a 16-inch uh, display or dual 12-inch displays here and a pile of other pieces. As you can see, I won't get into all the details there. You can see the controls. You can see the joystick. When you're sitting in this position, you've got really, ac really easy access to your joystick really easy access to your controls. You've got good visibility. All the information that you require is right here. We put the VHF overhead. The mic's very convenient to get out there. So this is just a really, really nice spot that uh, gives you great visibility and total control over the boat. So whether you're at the main helm here or at the auxiliary helm, this has got uh, the uh, both the uh, auxiliary and the uh, main helm's got the uh, 13 and a half inch stainless steel wheel. This is a tilt helm. You got the suicide knob here, making it really easy. Uh, EPS steering. I think I mentioned that earlier. So this is just really like a dream boat to drive. Everything's fingertip control, whether it's shifting, steering, using the joystick. It doesn't get any better. As you look forward, we've got more storage where that opens up as well. And that's also access to your windshield wipers. We've got uh, additional lighting here. We got speakers mounted there. You've got lots of room on the dash here to throw more goodies. And if you look at the V berth, that's basically a queen bed and it's well lit. It's well finished. You got storage on the sides. You got a bow hatch in the center. You got access to your road and chain to look at from in here. And there's also further storage underneath the cushions here. So that's a very well finished, comfortable, uh, place to, uh, to spend the night. So you can easily, comfortably spend, uh, uh, have sleep and accommodation for four people here without tripping over anybody. As far as accessing uh, the roof, uh, Kingfisher's done a pretty good job. You can grab here, you can grab here. Here's your step on the so side storage trays, easily up. Of course, you can see we've got uh, the rod holders up here, the roof rod holders. And the other thing that Kingfisher does is uh, this is an additional option, but this has got the uh, cargo rails. These have just got an Allen screw here where you can loosen them off. So you can slide these rails fore and aft to adjust them to whatever you want to put up here. So if you want to put an inflatable up here, you want to put paddle boards up here, you want to put your traps up here, it's going to accommodate it. 
The other unique thing that Kingfisher does is the well-donned uh, tie-down points. What's nice about this is that when you, whatever it is that you're placing up here, instead of relying on strapping just to your railing, you can now use these as a tie-down point, which are welded directly to the roof. You've seen this from the beginning of the video, but here's just showing the top view of your radar, your scan strut, your antennas, and the really nice, you know, isolated, I want to point that out, all the stainless fittings on this boat are isolated from the aluminum so that uh, it uh, minimizes the risk of corrosion. Hopefully this video helped you understand more about the 3025 uh, GFX series and the Kingfisher Offshore series. If um, you would like to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe to our channel and uh, remember to like us as well.